Now we're gonna train the hamstrings. All right, so we'll start off with a hip hinge or extension. Uh, so we're gonna start off with something that's gonna be quite similar to like, well, just a terminal hip extension, uh, like an IDL or a cable pull through. Um, if we have a resistance band, we'll start with that. So we can again attach it to something quite stable. Hopefully this doesn't fall over. Um, otherwise I'll have a headache. We're gonna put the band around the hips, take a few steps forward so there's a lot of resistance when we're at full hip extension. Nice and steady on our feet, hinging back. So the cable's gonna pull us back. Right, we're gonna go with the, the resistance of the cable. And then from here, we're gonna hip extend through. And as we take more and more tension on the, the band, it's gonna get harder to hip extend. We're gonna squeeze the glutes and loading the hamstrings when we're at the bottom. All right, feels great. I think my booty's growing already. Okay, so the further you go out, the more challenging it's gonna be because you're gonna have more resistances we're hip extending. Um, again, just be considerate of the band that you have for that and where you're attaching it. Another variation we have with the band, the banded good morning, I'm going to step down here. Alright, so we can just, again, similar to like the squatting variation we had before. This is good. Turn this way. So you're going to yeah. put the band over our shoulders. Alright, feet around shoulder width apart. We're gonna hold on, hinge back. So the band is pulling us down. So we're getting loading at the hamstrings and our lower back a little bit here. And then we're gonna pull through, squeezing the glutes at the top. All right, another great exercise if you don't have any weights. Magic stuff. If you're stocked up on pasta, you can do really heavy RDLs. But if you haven't, and you're limited on items, uh, we can do either normal IDLs if we have resistance, say like dumbbells, um, which most people will be pretty familiar with, hold the dumbbells on your sides, just doing normal IDLs, fantastic. If you don't, we can improvise by getting a child bucket, right? We can fill it with sand or something to make it a little bit heavier. And if because we don't have as much resistance as we might normally need, we can vary it by doing a single leg RDL. All right, so we're gonna split our stance a little bit. We're gonna hip hinge back, loading the foot that is keep, like loading the foot that you're trying to load. Right, so we're gonna put one foot forward. The back foot's gonna be the one that we're targeting. Right, keeping our knee nice and still. Nice big stretch through the hamstring. Trying to keep a relatively neutral spine. And very minimal movement under the load. And then we're gonna pull through. Okay, so you can really hold the bucket really wherever. Preferably on the side that you're loading. Come back. And again, pull through. Focusing on just using the one leg. We can progress it with olive oil, noodles, and tin tomatoes. Right, so again, now we have something a little bit heavier. We can hold that, get into our split stance position, come down, and through. Right, again, we're going to be doing both sides. So, that's really all you need to know about that one. Uh, yeah. Enjoy it and then afterwards you get to eat your food and oil. <laughs>